well, hey, friends, of course, I'm not Phil, but, uh, but he was gone before I could say, hey, do you want to do the recap? <laughs> so I'm not going to recap Phil's sermon. Uh, hopefully you've had a chance to, to connect with it and listen in. It was an awesome teaching. I love the way he brought it in. So a um, couple of questions for you for small groups as we get going. At the end of questions, don't forget, uh, we will have an update on one of the questions that came through and had a little bit of repetition from other groups. So uh, first question, question number one, do you remember your first job interview? Question two, sometimes we are mistakenly, mistakenly credited with things that others have done. Maybe you have been thanked profusely for a gift uh, that uh, your spouse actually picked out. I know this has happened for me before. Um, or you've had someone rave about a dessert you made that maybe you actually just bought it from the freezer section in Myers and dressed it up a little. Have you ever accidentally gotten credit for something that someone else has done? Everything in this text, Moses, the water, the Egyptians, the people of Israel, was used to display the glory of God. It wasn't about Moses, it was about God and the display of his power and his love for his people. Have you ever had an it's not about me realization where you realize, oh man, this is something bigger than me, it's not about me? Question four, Moses and the Israelites were trapped between the Red Sea on one side and an angry army on the other. Have you ever felt that way, just kind of hemmed in and trapped? As Phil shared in the sermon, Moses approached the Red Sea and um, if God didn't show up in that moment, it would have ended in a tragic disaster. When is the last time that you stepped into the waters, strengthened only by courageous faith and your trust in God? Go back and read verse 24 and 25, and then ask yourself the question, what did God do? Friends, I want to make sure you spend some time uh, with your small group praying and talking together before you go and watch the community conversation. So please make sure you've spent that time in prayer, and then uh, we'll go right into those community questions. So the community question, during Monday evening services, when we have a video... Will there be a pastor available? And, and it goes on to say, what if somebody needs prayer immediately after? Um, so here's, yes, 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 yes. Um, let me answer, and I open my hands because we have been prayerfully discerning this process. And it's, it's not been easy because usually church plants take 10, 12 years to be where we're at. I mean, it's just been crazy, right? Uh, we really started going three years ago this December. We were really finally going. And, um, you know, right now uh, we're just packed to the gills and doing this stuff. So the answer is yes. On Monday nights, we will have a pastor hosting the service. Welcome, greeting, announcements, and then uh, closing with the benediction and being available for people to connect with. Quite honestly, it's only been me up to this point. I'm sorry for that. I'm sure it gets a little old, uh, you know, having only one voice, and I apologize. But we have been really trying to discern and seek God on that. So we're looking to hire a campus pastor for the foundry. Um, we do have a person who we've been working with uh, to kind of help direct some things uh, as we go forward. So right now, I know this, that yes, there will be a host when we have a video, a pastoral host welcoming you, greeting you, giving the benediction and being available for a connection. We are absolutely taking care of that. All right, so you have questions about who's on staff. Can you see over the podium? Yes, I can. <laughs> This is my, this is my, you're like, wait, oh, is he mocking me? This is my friend and coworker, Marcy Colleen. I'm going to have her introduce herself and tell you a little bit of what she does here at the Foundry Church. 
Hi, I'm Marcy Colleen. Oh, am I holding this? I didn't know. Yeah, well, you kind of acted like you wanted yeah, well, to. Yeah, so well, I, I was handing it off. But. Okay. I'm Marcy Colleen, um, Justin Colleen's wife. I take care of the care department in our church. So if you have a care need or anything like that, it comes through me. Um, also, I work on the creative team with Eric and Erica. Um, sing with Justin and... Slides. Yeah. I do the graphics. Thank you for All reminding me. Ads. And then I do Work slides. Hard at that. <laughs> graphics for the loop and slides for the sermon. So. Awesome. Do you want me to hold this for you? Yeah. Thank you, Marcy. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's Marcy Colleen, and she um, she has become an uh, invaluable part of not only our staff team, but really since the very beginning, because you and Justin were the only people we ever had come for worship here at the Foundry. So um, you guys have been with us since day one. And uh, yeah, so if you see Marcy, now you know a little bit more of her role over care, over digital. I can't believe you almost forgot digital because her digital, the impact over what we do with the loop and the slides and all the posters, all the banners, things like that, and working with creative. So yeah, we'll be introducing more people. Actually, we'll take every week, we'll introduce a new staff member and try to get them uh, try to get them in front of you so you know who they are, what they do. And if you have questions, you can ask her. I know our time's a little short, have a great day, guys. Hope the all group was good. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>